what's up? Aren't you doing it for the likes? <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it for the likes. Ah, uh, 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 okay, oh, hold up, hold up. So you doing it for the pussy? Nah, I, I mean, yeah, no, 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 I, I ain't doing it for that. Okay, then, what are you doing it for? Man, I do it for the culture. <laughs> what you want to see? You go, we'll go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Nah, man. What's wrong? We'll never you, spend bro? time no more, man. Ever since and, you've been out here. And that's the way you come out, just like that. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a like a male pickup line. Yo, you want to go to the movies <laughs> later? Like, they what, got this what? Tuesday. They got this the, you know, they got the this good. This is a trick. Uh, it's man uh, days. It, well, no. They got is the cheap it? days. On Tuesdays in the Valley, there's a NoHo Cinemark. They, it, it's pretty cheap over there. Maybe like eleven dollars. Don't look at me ever in the eyes again and ask me that. Like, okay, you want to go see Twilight? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no! I heard Twilight's back in the day. Yeah, man, let's go see. Um, <laughs> let's go see. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians. I saw that yesterday on yeah. Sunday night. It was good though. It was. I, 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 it was yeah. a lot of Asians in the theater. Uh, it was mixed actually because oh. it was like in Burbank on a Sunday night. But yeah. I went with my home, my Asian home girl to support. I'm still not going. With you have you any Asian movies. friends you going with? I don't have no Asian friends at all. They're all in New York. You're the only Asian friend I have. Nice. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. a Latino will be like Haitian, Haitian. It's Asian, the same shit, Haitian, bro. You're right. <laughs> You're just a Haitian. <laughs> hey, yo, check this out, man. This is uh, another episode of For the Culture Podcast, man. You I'm already host. recording the podcast? That's what I like to do. I like to talk. Just so it feels organic. I don't like the, to do that intro. And Oh, shit. So we've been talking, making movie plans. But we, we'll get to that later. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to get to that. We Thank are going to get to it. Uh, I feel a sense of relief now. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that we were on there. I like I, to I, make sure I, he gives me a quick signal so that the uh, guests know, don't know. I, I like I like it. I like it when men come on to me, Nick. That's <laughs> <laughs> who says that, yo. <laughs> yeah, don't act like you don't want to go to the movies. Yo, but anyways, we got comedian, uh it's my guy from New York, man. Hilarious, the one and only Edgar Rivera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA yeah. Tangana. It, it, uh, uh, can people see me? Yeah, we do. We, oh, we got video too. <laughs> I so, was wondering what that was. Yeah, that's the that's This is the, the only podcast I've done. No direction whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom's in the back. Water, do, do sit down, do and then and then he starts the podcast with, uh, "You want to go to the movies later?" Yeah. And then I don't know why these chairs are so low. Look at the microphone. Look at this shit. It's in my nose, uh, and I can't bring it down. Nick, like, I have to stand straight. It's firm. It'll work on your posture. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what my girl says. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, yo, thanks for coming through, bro. I appreciate you, man. Um, so you've been you've been back and forth with you know going to New York, L. A. and 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 making uh, money on the road. You. Uh, what nah, you, man, I'm actually here now, nah, man. I'm officially here. You bro. really committing here? Yeah, man. I gave up my place in New York. Uh, I let my license go. I got Woo! my California license. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I wouldn't yeah. have done that. Can we curse? Yeah, we can fuck around. Fuck California DMV. I just wanted to get that out there. Hashtag fuck California DMV. I thought New York was bad. You got to pay more state taxes now. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. You told me that the last time, man. And you didn't listen. Ooh, man. There you go. Some agua. Shout out to Paul, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. We, we take care of our guests here, man. <laughs> At CPU Studios. See, yeah, First yeah. class treatment, man. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get a massage? We can go to the next door to the Korean No, spot. man. Everything with this dude is weird, man. You, got, you see how we started with the movies? And now he's like, yo, let's get a massage. You want to get a massage? What's next? I, I just want to have a good review. I, I want to <laughs> give you <laughs> the three M's. Movies, massage, and McDonald's. And McDonald's. <laughs> you still eat at McDonald's? Nah, man, I stopped. What, what was the last time, what was the last meal you had at McDonald's? Can you remember? Dude, uh, I I started this whole diet yesterday, actually. Yesterday you officially yeah, started a diet. I officially started a new diet yesterday. And last time I ate McDonald's was, uh, how was the last time? Last week. I had to say bye to that shit. It was last week? Last that was your goodbye meal? <laughs> that was my goodbye meal. <laughs> What'd you have? A quarter pounder, a double quarter pounder. That was your shit? That's the shit at McDonald's. But <laughs> McDonald's is bad for you people. I've been watching all these documentaries on fucking Netflix, and I'm fucked up, man. I don't know what to eat anymore, bro. I feel you. I, I mean, every now and then when I cheat, I go to either uh, Burger King or I do the 4 for 4 deal at Wendy's because they give you like small fries, nuggets, um, a little burger, and then you get a drink. Or I'll get my Burger King. I never really liked McDonald's like that. Like, I like the breakfast at McDonald's. I was yeah. more of the McGriddle, well, th- that egg that. sandwich. I, I fucks with the breakfast. Um, once I saw Super Size, you ever seen Super Size Me? Was that one of the documentaries you peeped? Oh, man. No, no, when I, I first that. saw Super Size Me, this is what turned me off with McDonald's for their fries. So they showed how... They showed, like, one fries from somewhere else and the McDonald's fries. And then they kept it... They put, like, a, a big glass over it. So And it would keep the fries in its, in its state. And then over six weeks... 
one fries disintegrated and the other like stayed. And I was just like, I can never touch fucking McDonald's. Which fries one's again. McDonald's is the one that stood? No, it disintegrated. Oh, okay. I and guess. so it's disgu- and it doesn't it doesn't break down. And you, it takes a long time for it to break. down. So you down. like to keep your fries in your stomach? I don't want that <laughs> shit. That's why I don't eat them there no more. I, so I only fuck with Burger King fries. You uh, know what, man? I'm, you know, I'm, I don't I'm, touch McDonald's fries, dude. I don't know where we're going with this podcast, and I hope you guys are still listening because I don't know what's about to come out of Nick's mouth. You Nick. don't. You don't know. But um, to I don't know, man. I just feel like we gotta. Like so, what's your diet now? Oh man, bro, I don't even. I'm like on a on a ketone diet, like uh, no carbs, no sugar. How you doing that, dude? I, I, it's been a day, and I want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to quit. I mean, I got up this morning thinking about McDonald's, sure. but I also think about the fact that um yeah, after watching all these documentaries and shit, man, they, this this food is fucking us up, man. You it's, know, yeah, it's, it's not. And good. as comics, we're fucking. You know, like for me, it's bad. I, you know, I'm a, I'm on carnival a lot and. Like it's a joy. It's it's a thing, bro. Every time I finish a show, like the 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 crew mess with the with the crew eats, mm-hmm. it closes at two in the morning. Okay. So no matter like what one o'clock hits, I'm like I gotta fucking go get the crew mess. I call it the mystery the mystery meat theater because you don't know what the fuck is they serving that shit. <laughs> and for those who don't know carnival is that's a, that's a, a cruise line. So a lot a good way for comedians to make money. We do cruises sometimes and go away for weeks at a time. So the carnival cruise line. Uh, Edgar was talking yes, about yes, and the food. And if you don't know Carnival, welcome to real life. Jesus just got internet <laughs> yesterday or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, so the food is bomb, and the food is bomb, yo. But you know what? The 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 fact that that you could eat whenever you want. Fuck yeah, that's the shit. That's the shit that messes me up. So now yeah. I'm actually leaving. I've been home for three weeks, and I'm actually leaving Saturday, mm. and, and I'm like, that's when I'm really gonna challenge myself to eat good on board and be disciplined. You have I'm a gym where you go work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get it. That's a hot gym, right? I can actually, for some reason, I can't work out though, man. It's weird. I get I get seasickness when I work out. I can't run on a treadmill about the boat is in motion. Really? Yeah, it's just, it's just a weird fucking feeling. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking by it. And I'm not changing <laughs> it from no one. You know, it's funny. Like, I, I so I was, I was on a cruise for like the first time, um, like a mini cruise, and that wasn't like a big cruise that like we were gone for like a week. But uh, I did like an excursion thing, and uh, I learned that for me. I never get like seasick or car sick or air sick. Like that's just never been a thing. Like it doesn't affect me. Like the water with the wave moving it, that really fucks with people's stomach. And I was like seeing some of my friends when I was in Mexico, like really be like, ugh, ugh, like I'm feeling throw up or they need to lay down. And I'm just like, damn, I feel so bad because like I can't feel how y'all feel. So you get seasick? A I used bit? to, bro. Used to? And, and you know what's crazy? In the beginning, when I first started, I used to. Okay. And I, I had to take, I started taking, uh, I, I would put the patch behind my ear, which made me look stupid. Cause how When you first I, started stand up? How am I, yeah, no, no. I'm like, how am I doing comedy on a boat? And the oh. comedian's got a patch behind the ear. Cause that's how you know who the first time cruisers are. You right, know, right. People who like cannot, are not used to it. So I started doing the patch and then I took the patch off. And when I, when I would take the patch off, mm-hmm. I, I would fucking be six, like I would be fucked up for like two days. Like I would Shit. be like this. I got my, my head would be spinning. So then I started doing the pills. The meclizine pills, and okay. I was doing that, but then that gets you drowsy. So you're already in water, which is motion, and that motion is, you know. And so you're I was drowsy like, trying to do 40 do minutes. Shit, dude. I yeah. would be in my room sleeping like I was in jail. Just let me out for comedy. Let me out for comedy. What else is there to do on the cruise? Like, how do you how do you occupy a day? For me, I'm different, man. I'm a people person, so I um. I check out what 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 they doing, what the, right. what the what what they have on the agenda for that day. Right. I go support all the shows. I walk around. I talk to everyone. Okay. See, it's the difference, man. Because you know when we do shows out here inland, let's say you do um, Laugh Factory Improv, whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. And after the show, people come up to you and they're like, "Yo, you were great. You were good." And mm-hmm. and, and you yeah yeah thank you thank you. And yo follow me follow me. And those people walk away. But what are the chances you see those people again? Right. As opposed to being on board for five six days. Yeah. And these people see you the first night and then that's it. They feel like they know you. Mm. Like you know like I'm I'm upstairs having breakfast by myself, just minding my own business at ten. All right, 12, because that's when I have breakfast. But this, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at, you know, just want to be, like, yeah, by, by myself. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind entertaining all the time, but, like, I'm just sitting there, bro, and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, girl, listen, man, you want to hear a joke? No, I don't want to fucking hear a joke, We're man. trying to give you jokes. And oh. they'll talk to you, but then you feel like, okay, you know what? This is what I signed up for, you know? I can, I'm not, sure. I, I'm not. Yeah, you always been, like, a, a friendly neighborhood kind of vibe. Yeah. That's, like, I think that's, like, an extension of you on yes, stage. Yes, yes, I'm going like to tell that. people when and, he stood in my house, let's talk about that. Listen, <laughs> freeze. I only went uh, to your house one time. <laughs> listen, uh, so, no, but I, I feel like if you are 
a certain way on stage. Yeah. If you're a certain persona on stage, I hate like not not that I hate hate's a very strong word, but I just right. like if you're a certain person on stage, I dislike when comics act a different another another. Oh way. yeah, yeah. Like they have a completely I can't different be, mode. I can't be happy as shit on stage, yeah. and then when I get off, I'm too cocky or too uh, good. For or you're a jerk. Yeah, that, that's you know that's a turn off. That that's not and that's not mm-hmm. that's not what I do. So you know, I maintain. I, I just walk. I walk. I walk around. I talk to everyone. I do the excursions. They give me what excursions, excursions you got, you've gotten to do. Dude, I, w- I went swimming with stingrays, and I'm a fucking Puerto Rican. I never thought in my life I would do that shit, yo. They told me if you Took kiss a, big a stingray. Risk. Yeah. You get seven years of good luck. Oh, you kissed it? Hell yeah, I made out with that shit. French kiss? And oh. that's why I'm here at Nick Alexander's podcast while Nick <laughs> just invited me to the movies, everybody, to hey, go man. see Ray, uh, Crazy. Crazy Rich? Crazy Rich Asians. Yep. I can't say Asians. It's okay. You'll get there. Um, yeah. So, okay, so you did, uh, you, you kissed the stingray. What else did you get to do? I went to, so when I went to Mexico for my first like grown vacay and with, with uh, people I got to know over the, over the five days or whatever, and I did um, the the cruise with snorkeling. They let us like snorkel. We went out in the in the waters. Uh, we went to Cabo. Yeah, I would hope I, you I, do that in the water because if you did snorkeling in the sand, that's, right? that's Paul, kinda, that would be a little <laughs> weird. Be a right? look. Yeah, you know snorkeling in the water. Where else can you fucking right. snorkel? Yeah. Oh yeah, in the in the bathtub in yeah. the pool. <laughs> yeah, a, bathtub snorkeling. That's, that's what you do in the hood. That's what yeah, you do yeah, in the hood. Yeah. You want to go to the pool? Go to the bathroom. Go yeah, ahead. All, all the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> you got the little fucking shit on around your arm. All right, focus, Nikki. You went snorkeling. Now I feel like that's my podcast. And Edgar then took over the podcast, yo. <laughs> so now uh, we did. Uh, so we did snorkeling. We did. Uh, I did ATVs. Me and my girl did ATVs and rode that shit. It felt like Mario Kart. And well, let's hope that you rode it. <laughs> no, I, I was on the back. I didn't ride. I didn't drive. Oh, your girl didn't let you. I, I was holding her. I was holding her, and she she held it down. She was. Dude, she held it down. She, she just don't down. trust you because she know you can't no, no, drive. No, no, I don't trust myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you drive, <laughs> and I'm very very smart girl that she fucking took that yeah, shit away yeah. from. She you. was loving it. She was so yes. power hungry. She was you like, you know, Nick, fast. don't ever take a ride with Nick. Don't ever. <laughs> you never know. Look how he's holding his keys desperately right now. He can't wait to get back to his car. This kid is like a little kid. I haven't had much luck as a driver, so I was. Was like ATV, I haven't, I have no, I don't, I, I'm good not driving. And then, so that was dope as fuck. Like they would, t- you start off like in the in the, um, the start off point, and then you go through like the woods area, and they got bushes area. Then you eventually you're driving out over the beach, and you're like going over the sand. What part of Mexico? We was in Cabo. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah and it was like the place was nice. like 40 minutes to an hour outside of where we were staying. But like, yeah, yeah then that. you riding through the beach and like through the sand. It was it was it was amazing, man. Like I'm not gonna lie, um, I would definitely do that again. And then we did zip lining. And zip lining is cr- you've been zip lining? Yes, I have. That shit is. You looked at me like why? Like because I'm too fat, fucker? No, nah, not at all. I'm, just, I'm gonna die, fucker. <laughs> I was just trying to see if our excursions match. Don't be so sensitive, before, Edgar. You can't. You can't look at me up and down before you ask me if I've ever you, been, you zip been zip lining. lining? <laughs> <laughs> I was like looking at Paul. Look at Paul. Oh, ask yo, Paul, zip-lining. you been zip lining, Paul? <laughs> yeah. Every, all right, everybody been zip lining except for me. Okay, I guess. I went zip lining. I carried a scale the whole time. Weigh yourself. <laughs> like if I fucking like get the. Nah, you would be fine. How many zip lines did you do on your thing? I did. Um, Our thing had like eight, and we had to hike. That where, shit was exhausting. Where, Puerto Rico? No, in in in, in Cabo, like, oh, we no, had eight zip lines, and we had to like hike in between them shits. Them shits was it was tiring. Like I'm I not gonna it, lie to you. I did it in Puerto Rico, and um, Puerto Rico got the longest one in the world. In the world, though, yeah, it's like dope. a mile and a half. Dude, it goes from one town. Through? It goes from one town to another. It's what? called. It's called. Um, what is it? The, uh, El Monstro, the monster. That's fucking amazing, right? son. So before that one. They have um they had the, the the original first longest one they had as well and it was called the Beast La Bestia yeah and um and then they did someone they did another one somewhere else that took first place and then they came back so they got the first and the third longest you did the mile one so I didn't do the mile one because it was just like one pack it's like one hundred and seventy dollars to do that just that, that one well, that probably yeah that feels and like long I as could fuck. pay one hundred and forty and do eight plus the beast which is the third longest so that's, that's a better, like, that's fuck a better it, look. I did that but it's like you say man it's like people think it's fun man that's a lot of fucking yeah, walking yo, we was not ready for the hike in between and going across a bridge dude and, and you think you're going somewhere you're not really going nowhere if people look at you from above you're going from one mountain to the other like dicks like back and forth you're yeah. like man this looked exactly didn't the same didn't we see three uh, number five <laughs> that's that's exactly what happened and we did uh, some of them we could do two to a, to a zip line so like me and my girl we, oh, did, yeah. we did the um, uh, did she beat you too what do you mean? Did she get there first? Nah, it's no race. Like, like two go together and zipline across. 
And and it's like in the same, in the same line? thing. So like Hell the trick no. is that Fuck they that. you put yeah. your your legs. I would look at myself. You see me? You want to fucking go sit? No, with you me? you you lock in under the armpit. You lock the foot under the armpits, and then you go and then you zip line together. And or there was a one called the, the fuck. Me- you mean you lock the foot? Under so you're 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 behind me, right? If we were going to do whatever. Uh, everything no, pause. With you is gay today, Nick. Come on, <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Let's start. Let's go to the movies. Yeah, the, the show times. You want a massage? Show times Everything is behind me. Show times are four thirty. If you want to this curtain, I don't know what the. Oh, okay, <laughs> so say you and your girl, because you got a girl too. Thank you, you and girl. You, you and your girl Keyword, go ziplining, girl. right? So uh, since you're you know, a big person, probably you want to go in the front. So she's behind you. She's stretched out the way they teach you the positioning with the legs out and, you know, like lean back. And then you lock her legs in with your armpits. And then you, and then you, and then so she's holding the thing and you're like, you're locked in. And then you guys just go together. And then and you, you go straight through the zip line and you guys can go as a couple. And then when you guys are like getting oh, ready to so, slow down, so, okay. So you mean, so you both have separate setups. So basically, the only reason, the only way that makes it going together is because I'm holding her legs and my armpits. Yeah, it's like you lock it in, and then you're holding. It's like in like that's that. not sexy at all. That doesn't. Even well, there's sexy. another one though. Paul, Paul, does that sound sexy? No. Well, check I, out this next one. Check out this next. There's one called the Mexican butterfly. So your you can be facing your back could be facing towards the zip line, and then your girl is going into you, and then you guys can ride like that. All the way through and zip line through and like y'all are you know facing each other front front ways and you guys o- only in it. Mexico only in Mexico so it's called the Mexican butterfly Paul did you know about the Mexican butterfly the Paul did. he Mexican he don't even know about that shit man Paul you Mexican oh wow man yeah. nice nice two Latinos that, against one right, right now why you gotta take it to the it's 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 say, Nick think he's Dominican it's ain't ninety eight eighty I'm Haitian Haitian I just like Dominican women I did I did I did the the, the beast um it, it's it's two it's two side by side so okay like, like let's say you, we could do it and then you do yours and I do mine so the guy was real the guy said and you do it laying down. Like Superman, ah, interesting. Superman, but with your arms, you're supposed to put your arms on the on the side, right? Mm-hmm. So it was the only one because the other ones are sitting. You know, you got, you always got to hold on, so you can't really hold your right, phone. Right, right, right. So it was me laying down. I was like, "This is the one that I'm gonna get," and I have it on videos on my Instagram, right? So like, I I took my arm out, but the guy, I remember the guy telling me, "Put the arm down and like go with it, go with it," because it's long, dude. Yeah. So my cousin was. We both took off, right? We're like, oh, and I took my phone out, I'm recording all this shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I don't know, I see my cousin just passing me, <laughs> and that shit scared the shit out of me, bro. Because I was like, "What if I don't make it?" You know? Right. You lose like, speed I, and you get I, stuck, I, and then they gotta I, come I, get you from there. I actually didn't make it, Nick. Yeah, they come I, get you. I, no. I, 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 I was like 20, 20 feet shy. <laughs> oh, then you had to do this shit? When you had to pull yourself But back? I still had the phone in my hands. So I was, I didn't want to let go of my phone for shit, bro. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, it was up, but I made, and I was like, oh, fuck. I'm, that's why I'm in Yeah, a, we had a friend a of diet ours. Today. He got stuck like halfway and then had to do this shit and like use his hands to pull himself to the I got thing. kicked out of Great Adventures, bro. Well, please talk about that. How you get kicked I, I, out of Great Adventures, man? Check this out, bro. Nobody, I was at Cisco, right? For Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. So Cisco, it was a bunch of us. It was Cisco, uh, Kaylin Garcia was there. It was a, uh, there was like eight of us, a group of eight of us. We went to Great Adventures one afternoon. All the Love and Hip Hop people go to Cisco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we went, we went there in the afternoon. I drove. It was like, yo, we put all these fuck. It was like, yo, it was like, like it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us. In mm-hmm. my car. Mm-hmm. And we get to Great Adventures at 4 o'clock. We buy that little pass. You know how you sign up so you don't have to make the line. Skip them shits. Dude, when I tell you, we did all the roller coasters, all of them, in a matter of like three hours. It was amazing. Beautiful. So now we're in the last one. We're doing the Nitro. And I like I'm on Nitro. Periscope. Remember when Periscope came out? Yeah. So I'm on Periscope and I'm like talking shit on Periscope on the line. They're giving me hearts. So I was like, I should Periscope the ride. And, and, and I was like, give me little hearts if you think I should Periscope the ride. And the little hearts started coming up. And I was like, all right. So now we waited to sit up front. So I had the very front row, bro. And, and I hit the phone and they come and they put that thing on. They tie you up and I have my phone hiding. The phone was still on. So as soon as we took off and started going, tick, 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 I took my phone out and said, yeah, Periscope. We got to the top. I, it went down, dude. I Periscoped the whole ride like that, going crazy and like that. And when I get off the thing, we stop. I'm walking. And you know how when you get off a roller coaster, they always show you the picture? Right, right, right. <laughs> you know the picture stand? And he's like, so I'm still on Periscope, dude. I'm still talking shit. When I look up, I see four cops by the picture stand. God damn. And, and, I, and they were looking at me, and one of them pointed at me. And when he pointed, I just turned the phone off. I turned the phone off. Is it you? And he said, come here. And he said, uh, uh, were you um, recording the ride? And I said, excuse me? 
<laughs> and that's what you more. say. That's what like, you get, Latino. Es, 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 excuse, excuse me? me? <laughs> excuse me? What <laughs> you <laughs> say? What you officer? I don't know. Listen, he was like, are you recording the ride? I said, no, I wasn't. Why? He said, because we noticed you had your phone in your hand. I was like, of course, I have my phone in my hand. I'm not going to put it in my pocket. What if it falls? Right. You know? What, is it illegal to hold my phone in my hand? And he's Ooh. like, well, as a matter of fact, it is. Shit. You could drop it and kill someone. <laughs> so we're going to have to escort you out. And like, well, then fuck it. Escort me because I'm done anyway. <laughs> I done did all the fucking rides anyway. So I told Cisco, I said, here goes your police escort. Yo, they escorted us right out the fucking park, Yeah, I felt like bro. famous that's, people. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's how I get kicked out. I, I like Six So Fags. I can't go because they have a picture of me for eight years. You're banned? I can't, I can't ban from Great Adventures. Any Great Adventures or just yeah, the Jersey I, one? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't imagine. There's one out here. Can you imagine I go out here yeah, like, and they be like, excuse whoa, me, sir, is this you? Something. <laughs> be like, no. Oh, look how fat that guy was. I'm in the diet. That, uh, you take off your glasses. It's like, I don't know who the fuck that guy <laughs> That's funny. Now, there's like a mad, there's mad amusement park study, so we can find something else. Oh. Why do you keep on trying to do something with me? Don't you have a girl? Like, do something we can with double, her. We can double date. Double date. I don't that's know. What, that's what growing up is doing. Relationships do, right? You guys do we go out and do uh, double dates? I remember little Nick. I remember when Nick started doing comedy, yo, in New York. He was so innocent. This kid wouldn't even talk, yo. N- nothing, man. He's so innocent, man. Now he has a girl, so I can't really say the things that I really want to say. Yeah, you can say Because I'm pretty sure this. she hears this podcast, so I'm going to just, you she know. She don't listen to it. She doesn't listen to this shit. Nah. <laughs> Some fucked up shit. How long you been together? Uh, technically, Dang. um, we're, we're going on a month. So I, 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 I went exclusive a month. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. when I made her my girlfriend. Yo, Paul, you're Latino, right? Have you ever heard that shit, bro? Technically, who says how long? How long you been together? Well, okay. technically, you don't count. If, you don't count that <laughs> your girl is from the first time you hooked up. You count it from when you say, "Yo, I'm, I'll be," you know. We just take so a week. month ago, so, you got in one knee and you asked her to be your girl. I didn't get on one knee. I was, <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> I was like, "Yo, let, let's just let's do this." How did you do it? How did you do it? I just I was like, "Hey, you know, uh, let's just be official and you know be be exclusive." And then you invited her to the movies, like you invited me earlier. <laughs> Said, I, I, we went to the movies the night before. Let's go to the movies and a let's happy go, ending and a happy ending afterwards, and then we could go to the studio. Yeah, but I'm doing a lot of shit for the first time I never did before. Like we went, we went and got Manny and Petties together. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Welcome, welcome. You know, yeah. I didn't realize. You know, that was that was kind of cool. the shit. I do that shit by myself, bro. I don't need a girl to do that shit. Oh, word. Uh, okay. I usually just clip my shits, but um, I'm nah, gonna, man, you gotta take you care. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta, take, you gotta care, take care of yourself, man. You so, gotta. I'm starting to. I'm gonna get a gym membership and start trying to work out. <laughs> you know, I gotta get in shape. I got a little doughy. I'm skinny. I'm still skinny, but I'm just doughy. Shut up, bro. Don't even talk to me right now, bro. <laughs> my body's I, a little soft. I know I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm happy with it. But though. at least you still look like you can knock a motherfucker out, though. I really can't. You don't can't. think that with me, though. I really can't. Yeah, but you still got, like, the grown man. Like, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you know. I'm all talk. I'm like, ah! If you want to fight, I'll be like, nah, what, What's your fight you record, Edgar? My fight record. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to say this on next podcast. What's your fight record, real talk? Ah, oh, man, I can't. Yo, dude, honestly, man. Because, you know, you could be a different person before comedy. So oh, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Way, way before comedy, man. I, I, yo, dude, I haven't gone into a fight since, like, high school, bro. Oh, good. All right, so that means you never really had issues like that. Because you know what, man? It, I, you know, like, I always told people this, man. Who you hang out with, that's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, my mother used to tell me in Spanish, un amigo, un peso en el bolsillo. Mm. A friend is just a dollar in your pocket. When you have that dollar, they there. The day that you don't, they not. Wow. And I always... I, I, yeah, I got locked up when I was 15 years old Fuck. and I told myself I would never want to go through this again until this day. Is this wood? Yeah. Is this, is this wood in this studio? It's wood, right? Yeah, 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 yeah it's wood. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. said, he asked Paul, is this it's wood? wood. What not... is that? Because Paul is Mexican, you want to ask him really? That's some racist well, Paul, shit. Well, Paul helped build the studio, so. <laughs> or was it the fact that Paul said, si, senor. Si, senor. Si, si, yeah. si senor. It's black. It's, bl- <laughs> it's black wood. Yeah. It, it is black wood. No, but that, so, so I told myself, I said, you know, all right, I always get myself out of trouble. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a, you know, I'm always alone. I, I hang out. We hung out, you right, know. Right. But I'm never, you know. I always do the gigs by myself. I don't hang out with nobody. Yeah. And and even my friends, my my true good friends, they know, man. I, if I'm with you, bro, and we hanging out, we at a club, and somebody fuck with you, where we got a fight, we a fucking fight, bro. I will scream like a bitch. I will bite. Like, I don't know what the fuck I will do. Yo. I will fucking. Ah! And I, as I'll scream as I hit you, but we'll get down. But if we at a club yeah. and you get stupid and you do something stupid that m- makes you want to fight, you on your own. You on your. Nigga, I will. Yeah, I will, yeah. will share the guy. I'll be like, yeah, 
Yeah, good one. And then you're going to shit on me in the car on the ride home. Like, you stupid I told motherfucker. You stupid. I told you not to do it. So that was my mentality. So I never, you okay. know, like, I, after high school, yeah. I think... I, that high school is the last fight, bro. Wow, that's, that's dope. So we got like a lot of the same friends. So I because we both from New York, and um, you know, uh, with Jason Andors, Roberto Vanderpool. Fuck Jason Andors. <laughs> nah, that Jason Andors is my boy, man. No, Jason, I know you're not listening to this, but if if one day you happen to listen to this, I think you're the best Jewish friend I have. <laughs> right, he's Jason's a good Jew to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John, you know John Moses. So you ever like have uh? So, like incidents on the road with, when y'all with, you with your group and like some almost shit that happened since you haven't fought but like some shit that could have went down because you know we do some spots in some fucked up places and shit could go down or you know whatever man I have one but I can't really talk about it is that bad it's bad it's okay. bad I, then one day one day we'll sit down and talk about that but not but not really man I it, feel like man, lucky? if you're a comedian like okay, you know what, man? Right, we go okay. We go to the hood sometimes and perform where we know we know there's niggas that's in the streets that's doing shit and. You know, motherfuckers get drunk or whatever, and they might heckle a comic, or they might pop off at the mouth after the show. Like shit happens. Like mm -hmm. I've like, there's been, I think the the the, the, the shit. I, I wasn't there, but like I know when I when he when it came to the circuit when uh, when Dave Lester, our friend Dave Lester, remember when Dave got got jumped in the ink wall with his girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. So, like, there was a comic friend of ours when he gets jumped and his girl, his got girl, jumped his, him and his girl got That's jumped at this club. Like we are, and it's like a, a popular comedy room in Brooklyn. And uh, it was just one of those nights. And Dave, and it's not was even like, that bad of a room. It's not that bad of a room. But Dave, I guess he was. I don't know what it was. He was drunk or something like that, and he was going back and forth with them. And they got into a fight with, with majority of the motherfuckers in the room. And his, but his girl at the time helped him fight. But they all took a beating. Like it was. It was. Well, Dave Lester. Shout out to Dave Shout Lester to and Dave. that gate fucking crazy fucking ghetto fucking show that he has on Monday nights in What's New York. What's his new Monday nights? That, that, Jam that Jamaican restaurant, that uh, I haven't, no, Island I haven't. Taste, whatever the f dude. He has a Monday night room. The shit starts at midnight on a Monday, bro. Going on right now? <laughs> on a Monday, yeah. Fuck. So uh, a few months back, I was in New York and I was doing Imagine's room in the Bronx. I was mm -hmm. doing Havana, which is my little work. I went I'm home, so I was at Havana. And he hits me up. He said, "Yo, Edgar, where you at?" I'm like, "I'm in the Bronx." He said, "Yo, come to Queens, man. I got so and so." for you and I was like hey. I bet so mind you <clears throat> I just did Havana's I, I killed Havana Havana's like my gym so everybody right, right, knows right. me so I, I had the time of my life so now I got that high you know when you have a good set Adrenaline. and you got that high so now I'm driving imagine decided to go with me nice. so we took the ride together and when we got there and I walked in I said holy Fucking shit, yo! <laughs> Imagine looked. How me. scary was it? Was it like footprints, man? Dude, or? it was. It, it footprints was footprints is bad, but you kind of expect it. But this is just like, yeah, dude. When I tell you, Imagine and I were the only Latinos in the place. Bro. Right, right. You were in the five imagine, mile radius. And you know, Imagine blend in because Imagine got the Jamaican vibe. Jama imagine hung out with Jamaicans, but my fucking white Puerto Rican ass. They yeah. were looking at me like, the fuck is this the motherfucker doing here? And they and, and John Lass up Lass is up there fucking um. Like like hosting and and singing songs and and Laster and sing. Loud. I've never heard yeah, Laster no, no, sing. Dude, That's fucking they hilarious. They do a sing contest and all this shit, and then he finally brings me up. And and I told Imagine right before I go up, I said, Yo, whatever happens here stays right here, nigga. Yeah. What happens here stays right I here. I definitely bro. know what that and feels I, like. And I went up there, bro. And yo, surprisingly, man, I had a blast with them because I didn't give a fuck. Right, for sure. And I got both? into an argument with a guy. He tried to come up to the stage and he tried to take the microphone away from me. He was there with his little gang. He's like, Give me the mic. I said, I'm not giving you the mic, bro. Fuck out He said, like, Give me the mic, motherfucker. I was like, I'm not fucking giving you the mic. <laughs> and D Donis, I was like, Please don't ask me again, motherfucker. <laughs> like D Donis, I was like, Imagine. Imagine you got my back. Imagine. Yo, but I was like, nah, fuck that. You want to fucking go on? When I get off, then you go on and then you try to make these motherfuckers laugh. I said, matter of fact, I know you guys are waiting for the fucking music. That's why I'm not getting off now. <laughs> and I stood up there for a half hour, bro, just bullshitting and talking shit about everyone and snapping on everyone. And and, and then it's funny because... I don't I don't like it. I, I like when I could do crowd work, but at the same time I could do my material. For sure. Like we you know, like now. when you when you could come when you when you could have a night where you could do crowd work and material and get everything out there the way you want it, that's mm. a good night. Yeah. If I have to do crowd work, I'll do crowd work at a ghetto bar like that, at a restaurant where people are not paying attention. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go crazy out of my way or scream or or, or try to get your attention because you know we need that feedback as comics. So Thanks. if I say something that I know is originally funny, but you're not laughing, that's just gonna destroy. 
destroy my ego on stage. So yeah. I'm not gonna let you destroy my ego. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I judge a room always, always. I tell people this, I don't prepare myself for rooms, I never get ready for a room. You tell me, yo, hey, we're gonna do a show tonight, right, whatever. When I get there, when I get on stage, we'll figure out how we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. That's the way I do it. With rooms like that. If it's something big, like like Carolines, like, not, not Carolines or like a like a like a taping or some yeah, shit. Yeah, then yeah. I could get, I could structure myself where okay, I'm gonna go with this. Yeah. For for the most part, bro, I go on stage and be like, fuck that, you bro. You live in the what, moment. Whatever happens, I'm not gonna do my material, and I have fun doing crowd work. Mm -hmm. I love doing crowd work. I tell people every comic I tell, if you're starting out, if you wanna, if you wanna get more comfortable, comfortable. Mm -hmm. like comfortable. Com comfortable. <laughs> comfortable means like comfortable, you know, comf. I can't say that fucking word, man, because okay, I'm a Latino, you know, I came here. I didn't know English, bitches. Neither did Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul knows si, English. Si, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is over there. Another agua, senor? Yeah. Listen, uh, but... um, You know what club I used to see, watch you in? Don't interrupt me. I'm not I'm done sorry. yet. Now I sound like Barry Ribs. <laughs> excuse me, I'm talking. Excuse, excuse me, me, I'm talking. <laughs> Shout out to Barry Ribs. Shout yeah. out to Barry. <laughs> He's like, excuse me, I'm not done yet. Comics are talking. No, I forgot what I was saying, fucker. Are you talking about um uh with your, how you prepare and shit? So yeah, so um, with the Jamaican guy, he, you know, he, he with the crowd work, weaving in and out at that Jamaican room because he wasn't gonna let him fuck his shit up. Paul, qué fue lo que dijo este la última vez? Now I'm gonna start talking Spanish. Hey, qué to qué Paul. fue? That's all. I mean. <laughs> uh, nah, man, I just yeah, I don't, I, 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 I love having. Fun. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you, Nick. I got it, I got it. Oh, as I tell um, I tell all young comics coming out, like I tell them. Like, Always find the room. Find the room. Mm. I don't know if I ever told you that shit. You then. never told me that. Because, you know, I didn't care about you. Edgar but never listen, gave me advice. Because, yeah, yeah, you hung out with Edgar said, you what the fuck are you doing here? You're not even old enough to hang out with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't got chess on your head. Nick always annoyed me. He still annoys me now to this day. But I'm here because he has a podcast and he has a Mexican guy. Why wouldn't I be here? That's right. Um, support, support your peoples, man. But I tell people this. I'm like, yo, you know what? Every, every young comic host, find a room where you can host. Mm -hmm. Okay? One... And if you could pay comics, even better. Because you could host. Now, you put money in comedians' pockets, they don't forget you. They don't forget you. Yeah. You know, oh, that dude put money in my pocket. Don't ever expect as a new comic to go on stage and get the money that you paid them because you got to know your role and your lane when you're coming up. But yeah. find a room where where you could get on stage every week, if it's every week, and it forces you to get off your material. Yeah, I agree. We have material. You have your material. So so I, I've never been a fan. I've never done the open mics. Why? Because I think it's just like, it's just a place where people go there and like, oh, that's a good idea. I've been there. Let me do that. And it's like, everybody, it's like so it takes you into that zone of where, yeah. oh, like, I want to try that. Oh, I had a story like that. So people steal a lot of shit when you go to these open mics. That's why I never did the open mics. So but you do your shows and you got your material, but when you're hosting, and, and people come back, the same people come back to see you. I don't know about you, but if I'm on stage and I see a couple, just one couple, bro, out of 100 people, but one couple is in the front and they seen me before, yeah. I feel awkward doing the same shit. And I shouldn't really care for that couple because there's 98 other people who have not seen me, but that fucking couple is fucking me up. So you, for me, it's just like always keep it fresh. Hosting keeps it fresh. Hosting keeps you to the point that I never get ready. You know why I don't get ready? Because I remember when I first started, my first five minutes, bro, my first five minutes, bro, the I first thing, to see, uh, my, the first amateur thing, written, Edgar. the first thing on the paper was like, hey, how you guys doing? I wrote that shit. You wrote, hey, I wrote, hey how you guys doing? Like, that Did was you put the, exclamation points <laughs> after yeah, hey? Yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, 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 <laughs> mad, mad, mad question marks and shit. So, but I wrote that. So then what happens is a lot of comics that they're funny and they got their material, they got everything down packed, but they go on stage and they're so, so structured in their ways that when it doesn't go the way they want it, they, they, get rattled. they, they go up there and they drown. They drown on stage because mm -hmm. they don't know how to get off. Yep. They don't know how to get off because they know that set and they don't have what it takes to get off. And that's why hosting changes everything for you. Absolutely. Hosting gives you that that freedom. Like if I'm on stage saying a joke and I know it's not working, I could get off and snap on myself and say, what the fuck was I thinking? You know, like Facts. I'll snap on myself so people could laugh and be like, oh, nigga. Yeah. And, and then you, yeah. you're trying to game them over again where you could get into something else and work on different shit. Yeah, I started hosting shows. Uh, in New York, I never had like my own show, but after like you know five six years, I started trying to do my own thing. But when I came out here, I hosted at the Dime for like a year, and uh, that mm -hmm. was great because for me to be like living out here for like for real for real, and then meeting comics, 
uh, building fan bases with my fan base out here with people who came to the shows and I did get a lot of people who became fans of mine because they would just they can always come see me at the dime and I just fuck around try shit I keep it engaging I work out a couple like new bits or whatever like that so like I I totally agree hosting early on gets you more confident very confident like faster and um, and it helps to build relationships with comics so exactly. they know who you are that, and that's how you, you know. that, I tell you dude I I'm not afraid right. I've gone to the point, dude, that, and I'm not just talking shit, but I'm not afraid to go up in front of any fucking audience and try something new. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah. I feel like, if, first of all, you got to be, to me. And that takes time as, to get there. As comics, yeah. you want, we all want to be funny. It's, it's about being funny. It's sure. about being funny, making people laugh. It, to me, it's not a competition. I would never say, you know what, I'm going to be funnier than Nick. I'm gonna be funnier than Pedro. No, I'm not gonna. That, to me, it's never a competition. To me, what's more important is being memorable, and that's, that's the key. And that's what a lot of people don't get. It's about being memorable. When I get off stage and people go Super Sun, or they go uh, Thank you, Money One, or they'll say my some favorite shit, unbelievable. The unbelievable. So when that shit makes me feel good because that means they listen to me. Mm-hmm. You ever heard somebody go, yo, that comedian was funny, what he said, and you can't remember shit. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of comics who are funny, but like you want to be memorable to that point that you, when you connect with these people and you feel like you got them. Yeah. Like, like I get on board on Carnival, the first set I do is Super Sudden. Right. Because I introduce my childhood, everything, my, my life. And then after I do that, then, dude, I, I, I might as well just change my name tag because that's all I hear on board. Super Sun. So everywhere. Super Sun. Super Sun. But then that makes me feel good because they, they remember me. Yeah. So once you got people, and, and that's why I like Carnival, and that's why I'm having the time of my life right now with Carnival because I'm working my special in Carnival, bro, every that's night. That's awesome. I could perform for 800 people on a Monday night. Where else can I do that out here? 800 on a yeah, Monday? Do two shows, 400, 400 people that's each. That's amazing. Probably more, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, so so I'm working my special and I'm getting to that that comfortable shit where I can fucking be like, Boom. and your hours like becoming a story. And, and Dude, it's, yeah, it's a yeah, story. Yeah. When I, I tell me, yo, nobody could say Edgar, that's my shit. For sure. If if you say yo Edgar, that's my joke, dude, you live in my life, man. I talk about shit, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a new joke with you right now, and it's not even a joke. To me, comedy is fucking what happens, right? The other day, I went to um to Palm Desert Springs. Okay, yeah, that's the fucking desert. Yeah, palm, there's nothing there, but... palm or springs about that motherfucker <laughs> at all. I don't even know what they call that shit, right? <laughs> so on the way back, we stopped at uh uh what the fuck was that shit uh the Chinese place. There's a lot of Chinese places. Uh, the, the one with the food. The one with all the There's food. There's a lot of pay. Chinese places with come food. Come on, come there. on, come on. Let's go. Come King on. Walk? Uh, no, King Walk? I like King Walk. I don't even know what the fuck King oh, Walk uh, is. Uh, uh, Panda the, Express? Yes. There we go. Fuck Nick, yes. So, <laughs> Panda Express, right? I went to Panda Express. <laughs> and my girl, right? On the way there, my girl, right? On the way down to... We went to pick up my... My sister-in-law just got her car. We went down there to pick it up. So on the way down, my girl told me how she was at work at school that in the morning and somebody tra- walked in while she was using the bathroom. Mm. And she's like, hey! And she's screaming. I laughed, right? I laughed at her. So we go to Panda Express and after we take off, I got to take a shit, right? And I'm like, I'm not going to get on the highway. It's a two-hour ride. I'm like, I might as well use the shit here. Yeah. So I went to the bathroom. You, you ever walked into one of these bathrooms, dude, that is humongous? It's the size of this fucking room and a little lonely fucking toilet in the corner. They could have made this shit like three. Wait, you talking about a big-ass room but just one stall? You know, one big-ass room just for yourself. Just one toilet and one sink. That's the all f- there is. The shit was humongous, right? The fuck is that? So I closed. I closed the door, dude. I dressed the toilet up. I oh, I yeah, put yeah, yeah. I put toilet paper in the water so that's water won't. Sp- I cover everything, dude. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. We don't fuck around. I that, sit fellas. down, bro, and out of fucking nowhere, somebody opened the fucking door, bro. Yeah, and it's true, bro. My girl, my girl said it's true. Everybody that walks into a bathroom, not like seventy five percent of the time, they're on their phone. Mm-hmm. People don't just like like the, 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 the girl that walked in on oh my god she was like, she had her phone down she was looking down and the guy that walked in on me he was on his phone too and then he caught I was like yo <laughs> yeah but he caught you in that fucking vulnerable moment like I'm yeah, sitting there yeah you the your kneecaps and, is out and for a second thighs is out. for a second I felt just like how my dog feels when I look at him taking a shit I'm like you taking a shit motherfucker he looks at me like why are you looking at me man look the other look way away. motherfucker look away so right so. Dude, Did he even I, apologize? I, no, man. He, he said sorry. He just lo- he slammed the door, but now he's left the door open, right? So I'm thinking this fucking dude is gonna like. So you like, gotta get up and pull it. You know, somebody, <laughs> dude, you can't get up, Nick. The, the fucking dude, I'm li- I'm sitting in the toilet and the door is. F- I'm not lying to you. Like nine feet, eight feet away, nine feet away from me. Shit. 
So, and, I, and, I, and you're sitting there like that, looking in a little corner by yourself. And <laughs> just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, another one walked in, bro. Another old man. So you out trying to close the door with your <laughs> No, dude, out? I can't even get, yo, dude, I said, hello. <laughs> Somebody close the door. <laughs> now, at this point, I feel like everybody at fucking Panda Express knows oh, yeah. that the guy was taking this shit, did, which did, is did, more. Yeah, did was, the police come inside to escort you? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> escort you out. <laughs> I walked out so embarrassed. I just walked right out the fuck. I didn't look at no one. My girl's like, what happened? I said, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. We're talking back on the car, yo. Did, but did so, you get a chance to take your shit? I took a shit, oh, okay, yeah, good. but it was fucked up, man. It was real interrupted <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> so now I'll go on stage and I'll talk about that shit and, and I'll bring my dog into it and I'll talk about nice my dog so you live in the, so you live in LA now right yeah. how do you like uh, LA as opposed to New York I mean that's always a comic a, a conversation that you know New York comics LA comics a lot of people hate it love it what do you what are your thoughts in LA, think, since you've been coming out here I think um, as a comic if if you tell yourself I'm gonna move to LA to be a comedian don't ever do it mm -hmm. don't ever do it because that's that's never gonna happen I mean I mean there's the some, chance but could yeah. happen, but it's very hard because there's so many people out here trying to do comedy. There's so many people out here trying to do so many things. And the, the problem with L.A. as opposed to New York is that there's not that many stages in L.A. For sure. To accommodate all the comedians. And that's the problem. So when when I used to come out here before, I've been coming to L.A. for eight years. Mm -hmm. And I used to come like two, three times a year. And I'll come before and I will do everything. And everybody's like, yo, how you do all the shows? And I said, because I don't live here. I come here for two weeks. Yep. I book myself for two weeks. I hit everybody's show, and then I leave. Mm -hmm. I'm not a competition. I'm just here for two weeks. Yeah. The minute I moved, and they found out that, oh, you live here? Visit the love uh -uh, changed uh -uh. up. Uh -uh. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 it's competition. So that, that so that's the problem. I told a comedian, if you think you could come out here and just be a comedian and blow up as a comedian, more power to you. But, you know, yeah. New York is where it's at. For sure. You could live. I could live off a of comedy in New York. That's and that's amazing. That feels amazing, yo. Yeah, For those who don't know, yes, I could live a, a week in New York. I could I could live comfortably just and not even having to leave, just staying in New York within yeah. the five boroughs in and yep. Jersey or whatever. Yeah, no, so you I, can yeah. make a living off of comedy. But on the other hand, I tell every comic in New York, you have to go to LA. Start making trips. Even if it's yo know, twice a year or, or like 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 take money, man. When you make money, every yeah. every once in a while, just throw a hundred dollars to the side. Mm -hmm. You know, get a couple of hundred thousand dollars and, and just come out here because we need to be out here too. I feel you. The, the the difference is that New York you could make it with comedy, but in LA could change your life in one night if yeah. the right person sees you, and that's the whole. Theory. I still believe in that magic, though. No, no, it and it, and it could happen to anyone. So mm -hmm. that's that's what I tell people. I say, like, you could stay in New York and make the money. Or you could, you know, come out here. Absolutely. Like when I started, like when I started, I, I've been doing comedy 14 years. And Damn. I remember when I first started, um, everybody would tell me, yo, cruises, cruises, cruise comedians, that's what that's what comedians go to die. Yeah, I heard that yeah, too. Yeah, if you're on cruises, nobody knows who you are, you at sea. And I was like, and I heard that for many, many years. And now that I'm working with Carnival and now that I'm doing good with Carnival, dude, I, like I'm doing good. I got the rock star comedian of the month for July out of the old guy right there. So, yo, so I'm like, I, I got more haters. Carnival's I finest. I got more haters now than ever. But <laughs> so, so now that I'm doing Carnival, now they're like, yo. Yo, what's up, boy? What's up, boy? Carnival. I said, wait a second. Didn't you say that? Right. That's what comedians go to die. He said, nah, you know. Because <laughs> it's changing. Comedy is changing, bro. Sure. Social media is helping people, but at the same time, it's fucking everything up. Because they'll do two little videos on Instagram, and now they're, they're funny, and they're comedians. And, and, and people, people want to go see them instead of you and I, who could actually stand on stage and hold a set down and, and do a set for somebody. So, you know, so. But I like that you, you know. Cause you've always been funny and you do all types of rooms. You know, I don't think you had an issue doing an urban crowd, a mainstream crowd, a loud crowd. You always held yourself well, but like, you know, sometimes you have to like, but the thing is we have to sometimes commit to where can I make sure I can secure my money and then chase what I really want to chase. And the fact that you're one of the few comedians who can really, who got into the cruise and locked in on the cruise then because you know, you're not chasing other shit. Your, your, fo your focus is there. And well, you, um, that's you, important too. Cause a lot of people come out here like like yourself and you know you come out here you following you following the dream but financially it's stressful absolutely you know you 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 so how can you follow the dream 
when you're thinking about this and thinking about that and thinking about so the way I see it now I have a plan I have uh, I have a, a little plan that I'm working out and carnival is helping me a lot one I don't have to travel or tour the country to do to work my special yep. because it's coming to me mm-hmm. I got people from all over the world coming on these cruises and boom they they come and they see me and I can work my special on board and um and two it gives me that financial security where I could be like okay you know what now I'm away for two weeks, but I'm home for two weeks. Yeah. And in those two weeks that I'm home, now I could do the auditions. Now I could hustle. Now I could do the now I could do the shows that really don't pay, that I don't care about because I don't really need the money like that. Yeah. You know, now I could do Nick fucking Alexander's podcast and this shit. You, you better be goddamn grateful to be here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to see that current. It's Korean so weird. Talent. It's a, but listen, they do a mic here though. That's why they have the current oh, with the little. They do. They the do a show here. They do an open mic here sometimes. They yeah. do an open mic here. I'm telling you, they do comedy anywhere, everywhere, bro. Yeah. This is ten people maximum. I would love to do some shit like this, bro. One night. We'll talk. Hey, it's uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. What time? Six uh, thirty. Six thirty. Nah. I might stop by tomorrow. Actually, that's, I want to work. That's kind of so. Uh, yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I mean, I did. You know who I did at Pierre? You know Pierre? Uh, from Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah, yeah light-skinned Pierre, yeah. So light-skinned Pierre, yeah, yeah. I bro- mean, he was that dude in the bro- 90s. He was always a light-skinned Brother brother. Pierre. Yeah. Brother Pierre had a... I could just call him Brother Pierre. Brother. He had a workout room. Did you ever see that room he had over there on Ventura? Nah, I never. So he had me up one day. He said, yeah, I got a workout room. It's cool because it's, no, it's not an open mic. You know, he goes, I just got headliners coming by and you get to do a half hour. And when you hear a half hour in L.A., dude, you're like, ah, it's a special. So I went and, yo, dude, the room. How was it? Just about the same size as this one, bro. It was really small. It was in a restaurant. This is probably better because you don't have the traffic from the restaurant. But they had a restaurant. And yo, it was just like, and I remember I took my girl, so I take my girl with me, and she sees places like that, like like ghetto rooms or, yeah, or, or like yeah. quiet shit. I can see that she gets nervous for me. <clears throat> I don't really sweat it, but I like I see her like she's like, "What you gonna do on this one?" And I I went there and um I did um. It was a workout. For sure. All right. So And he had people there. It was a workout. There was like about like 10, 15 people there. That's all you need. You know, and um and I saw comics who who I know, who I seen in the circuit, and they up there doing their material. Mm. So, okay, so if it's a workout room, dude, it's a workout room. It's, right. not a, it's not for you to come here and do what you do every night that you know what works. That's right. not working out. Working out is getting better, man, changing your shit up so you won't have to be doing the same thing. And the crowd was like so – they were into the workout. Yeah, so, yeah, they were cool, you know, and then um, out of nowhere um, – Sherry Shepard walked in. Wow. And she sat right in front of me, and um, I'm next. And I go up, and and I start working out. I, you know, I, I just talk. It was right before my birthday. I'm like, I'm talking shit. And I'm just working out. I'm not stressing it. I'm not worried about I'm the not laughs. Kill. Yeah. Because I'm not here to impress you people like that. I'm just here. I'm here working out my shit. And then... um. This 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 black comic, I forgot her name, man. I'm I'm bad with names. But she walked in and she saw me and she said, Super Son. And and, and it like like it was like 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 you know such, such a small room. Yeah. And I was like, Super Son. He said, Yeah, do Super Son. I said, Nah, girl, that's a workout. And she said, Do Super Son, do Super Son. Come on, Super Son. And now everybody said, Yeah, Super Son. And I'm like, Nah, man. And then, so I, I did Super Son and I did it. In, in a workout form. Like, I do it on stage and I have a set for it, but right, now it's right. a workout. So I said, let's work out Super Sun. And I said some shit that night, off the just off the top of my head, just sure. it's my life, you yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. I said some shit that night, bro, that shit was a start. Yo, I did 20 minutes just on like Super Sun. Wow. And I got off and Sherry Shepard was like, I see that shit as a fucking show. And I was like, thank you. That's what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. But what is this, uh, what's the name of the spot? It, it, no, no, he did it. He, he he doesn't do it no more. It was oh, it was like a short the, run. Yeah, it was okay. a little short run, man. That sounds like a really cool like show that to to, to go check out and just do it. And you know, if you get a chance to perform on it, that, that, well, that's, that's what I'm looking for out here now. I would just a workout know, room to start. I, I need a, not not a workout room. I want to get a a show going. A show going. Okay. So I either either a comedy club or if not, find a place where I could just do it on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's bars here. So you know, if you go to like Silver Lake and Echo Park, there's like a lot of comics. Well, you fucking rubbing all that LA talk on me, son. You know, I don't know where fucking Silver Lake is. Bro. On the east side. Yeah, I don't even know where the east side okay. is from here, Nick. I don't All know, right. bro. This. All right, well, where do you live right now? <laughs> Start a room up there. <laughs> 
Here we go. This I'll come to your remote. I'll come to you. Can, you. you can book me. You hear this shit? You hear I'll bring Paul to, I'll, to I'll, open. I'll, I'll come to you. I got you, son. Come but yo, what, what you got uh, coming out uh, this weekend or whatever? The show, uh, the show posts Thursday, so whatever you have after Thursday, you can pump if you got. Oh, uh, after Thursday. Happy Friday, fuckers. Listen, uh, um, what do I got? No, I'm chilling, man. I'm, you know, I'm supposed to do something Saturday night, but I don't think I'm ever going to do it because I leave Saturday. I got a red eye for Saturday night. Okay. So I got to just clean up, and, and I'm gone for three weeks, so I'm trying to spend some time with the girl. And, okay. Uh, and you go and back on the carnival? Happy. Yeah, so yeah. So if anybody listening who plans to go to Carnival, yeah, this weekend, yo, follow me, yo. Edgar will be your, one of I'm your gonna, comments. I'm, gonna, I'm going to the Conquest, the Carnival Conquest. Okay. Then I— What countries? Uh, I think—I don't know. I don't even know. It's all right. Dude, dude, I don't even know half the time. When I get on board, I'm like, well, where we going, where yo? We going? Like, oh, we going to Coastal Mill, Mexico? Yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I like that side. When you do cruises out of that side, when you leave out of Miami, because you go to the Caribbean, the Caribbean is so fucking nice. So and no matter where you go, it's always going to be nice. Facts. So I'm doing uh, the Conquest, and then I'm actually flying to Houston, and I'm leaving out of Galveston, mm, interesting. Texas, okay. which I'm looking forward to. Because that's what, a that's a cowboy crowd, you know. So ah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. that's the crowds that I like. I like the I could do a Latino crowd. I'm a Latino for sure. I could I could do a Latino crowd with my eyes closed. I could I could do a black crowd with my eyes closed. I don't care. And, and that's what hosting did, and mm-hmm. all those hard rooms in New York that yeah, New I, York made me who I am right now. But I love to do a crowd that I know are not gonna get me. Because that's what keeps me on my toes. Yeah, like completely but opposite I, I, I have me. to explain the whole fucking show to them be, the, before the, the whole set before I get into the joke and mm-hmm. shit. So I have to, you know, so those are the crowds that I look forward to the most because that's what makes us universal. Yeah. I don't want to be just a Latino comic. Uh, no, you know, I a comic wanna, who happens yeah, to be Latino. Yeah, I, and, and, it's, and it's fun and I'm bored. I get all kinds of people, bro. No, Indians. Amazing, I, had, yeah, I had Chinese fans. Yeah, lifetime. the first time I saw you... <sighs> I saw you at the old stand up New York when I was uh you know when I was just starting. You were doing like remember Bob the Bono? He used to have those bringer all star bringer shows. Did you take Bob Boners? Bob the Bono, remember Bob the Bono? He used to have like I think I remember. He's had an all star bringer, so he'll make he'll put bringers on because he was having them bring people and then he would book comics who were killers. Do the show. It was either that one. Yeah, it was like I think you did. Uh, you did one of those all star bringer shows. I think I used to. I used to do uh, Mary Mary Domino's. Okay, I don't remember. I her. don't know. So I started out. That's where I started at stand up. I started at stand up. All right. And um, yeah, and then I used to see you all the time at Laugh Lounge. I love. I miss Laugh Lounge, man. I miss. I miss it. That was the spot, man. Lower East Side. Yeah, there was nothing around there, man. Everybody used to come and be up in there. <sighs> it's an arcade room now. Fucking arcade room. I'll go there when I'm in New York, though. I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You're not arcade. going to New York, Nick. Stop lying. I am yourself. going. I'm going in September. I'm September for, for two weeks. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do a nice little run. I did your show the last time I was there, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, that was <laughs> fucking at uh, West Side at the when I, I tried to do the show. It, it was, was that fucking who, cold that night, bro. Yo, like that, nobody. We had like yo, twenty people. Dude, not only was it cold, but the the the, the comic that went up before me. What was that girl's name that she said that her roommate got killed? Oh, uh, she Jackie said, Fabulous. Yo, and she said that story. She told bro. the story, right? Yeah. Dude, there's already like 10 people there, and she goes on stage how she, her, her, her roommate got killed. <laughs> and committed and she suicide. She was there for two days. Oh, he committed suicide, right? right? And, yeah, yeah. And she was home for two days, and she didn't even know. Like, who fucking said that? That was, yeah, that was that. But was, I appreciated that, that shit because I told her, I said, that shit comes from a real place. Now, not facts. a lot of people could fucking go on stage and be like, yo. And talk about that. My shit. roommate was dead next to me and shit. Now, shout out to Jackie, man. That, but, that, was, a, that was a fun little. Weird, what can the, uh, people find? Follow you, Edgar. They could follow me on um, Black Planet. Um, <laughs> remember Black Planet? I, I, I still got an account. Edgar, still. Edgar the Black. You got one, Mijente Listen, also? Mijente. Mijente. I like, I miss MySpace. MySpace was cool. MySpace was the shit because you could decorate. That was your space. You could put your picture, your wall, <laughs> your you music. change the font, the music. No matter how you were feeling, you put the music. Yeah. Now it's just um, Instagram like and, Facebook. and Facebook. Edgar Rivera Comedy. Simple, bro. Just my name. Edgar Rivera. E. Yes. D. G. <laughs> A. R. R. Uh-huh. I. V, Paul, stop looking at me. E, <laughs> R, A, C. Oh boy. <laughs> M E D Y. Yeah. Edgar Rivera comedy man. Um, Instagram and and, and Facebook. That's what. Okay. Uh, on Twitter, uh, you can find me everywhere, man. Follow me, man. I need that following. He's yo. hilarious. So make sure you, you check him out when he's in your town. Um, man, yo, thank you for coming through, dog. Talking shit, man. I appreciate yo, you dude. always. Um. Yes. Um. I, what's the name of the show? For the culture. 
for the culture. We did, we did it for the culture, man. We did it for the culture. The super son turned <laughs> super comedian. Yo, for the culture. And we got fucking Paul. Paul. Paul, is that really your name? And you're Mexican? Yeah. What's your last name, sir? Pablo. Pablo. See, bro, I <laughs> That's knew. That's the real shit. <laughs> With that being said, we found out Paul's real name, Pablo. It's for the culture, y'all. Peace si, out. Señor. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo,